Okay, so here's how you do it. You grab the book of the character you want, and you right-click. On mobile devices, you long press or long tap. After that, you get the character you want. Easy. If that doesn't work, try to activate these experimental switches before playing in your world. Important note, this add-on was made in Minecraft version 1.20.80, but so far it's compatible with 1.21.2. So anyway, this is an update to my Jujutsu crafting add-on for Minecraft. Cleave now has an alternate attack. Cleave Spiderweb, seen in chapter 215 of the manga. Sneak, then punch, using the cleave item to trigger this move. It destroys the ground below the player and deals damage to surrounding entities as well. It temporarily removes the cleave item from your inventory as a cooldown, which lasts for 15 seconds. Sukuna's unnamed fire attack now has a name, and it's not Fuga like many of you thought it was. It's called Divine Flames, or Furnace in some translations. Divine Flames no longer has unlimited range and can explode early. It travels slower as well and has new explosion particles. This adjustment was to make it accurate to the description where it doesn't have good range and is quite slow. This mantle has now been revamped. It doesn't stop after hitting a target. The technique will now just cut through the environment and through entities along the way. Malevolent Shrine now has an extended cutscene. New cast sound effect and new slash particles as requested by many of you. Moving on to Gojo's skill set, Reversal Red now has new particles, replacing the white smoke it used to have. Casting Lapse Blue and Reversal Red now triggers a sound. Reversal Red now has a second phase which can be triggered by sneaking while the orb is flying midair to trigger an early explosion. Finally, a general revamp that I think would do well in combat situations, a leap feature. In the previous version, when you hold sneak, it boosts your next jump. The longer you hold it, the higher your jump. That's still the case, but hold it long enough and that second high jump turns into a leap or an air dash, whatever you want to call it. I'm just calling it a leap. Super useful for dodges or the close distances between you and your opponent. Real quick, here are some adjustments I thought you guys should know. Infinity can now be broken with domain amplification using only 20 hits instead of 25. After Infinity breaks, it now takes 18 seconds before it's able to be used again instead of 15 seconds. Reversal Red now only takes 2.8 seconds before exploding instead of 3, but to balance this I made it fly faster. The full change log for many other adjustments can be found in the bottom of the project page if you want to read it. Jujutsu Craft in version 1.2, download links are in the description. See ya. So it's been three months since my last upload. That's a new record, considering my previous hiatus only lasted for two. So, um, my bad. Anyway, we're back and I have a couple of things planned and ready for you all. One of which is an update to the Batman add-on, so look forward to that. I'll also probably have one more update to this Jujutsu Craft and add-on before I add new characters. So the update after the next one will probably introduce a new character. Just because I don't want to add new characters before I finalize the existing ones. And Gojo and Sukuna are one of the most important characters. I have to make sure I do well with them before I add new ones. And anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, the download links are in the description. Do consider subscribing, joining our Discord, or just leave a like, it all helps. And I love reading your comments, as you can see, I have been seeing all of your questions. And I've been trying to answer as many as I could, but yeah. Anyway, that's all for me. See ya.